Hey guys, today I am doing another camera video and this video is sponsored by Canon. So today I thought it'd be fun. I had an idea because I've been out shooting pictures with my older siblings a lot recently. I shoot with Brooklyn and Bailey all the time and Rylan just because we have Instagram and things like that. But the true person in our family who is the most natural in front of the camera is Paisley, but she never really does any photo shoots. So I thought it'd be fun to try to challenge me and challenge her and try to take her who hasn't really ever done a photo shoot before and try to create her into like a professional model. So this is gonna be super, super fun. And today I'm going to be using my go-to camera, which is my EOS 80D. So this is one that I pretty much use all the time. I originally got it because I was super intrigued by its autofocus feature. And I like how it's like touch, you like touch it and it like autofocuses, which is why I got it because it's super, super nice when you're trying to shoot yourself. So that's originally why I bought this camera, but I love it. So I told you all about my EOS M200 Creator Kit a little while ago, but this one actually does have one too. So in the EOS 80D Creator Kit, you get the camera, the lens that comes with it. Then you also get a Rode microphone and a power zoom adapter. So it's a little bit different kind of mix of things, um, but I love both of them so much. And then actually I am shooting right now. This video is being shot on my M200 camera, which I love. It's awesome for vertical video, which I'm actually gonna get some BTS on this camera during the photo shoot uh, so I can post it on my socials later. So without further ado, let's go tell Paisley what we're doing. Okay, ready? Are you ready for me to tell you what we're doing? Yes. I'm turning you into a professional model. Really? You think you can do it? Yes. <laughs> but which one though? I just, you, you're gonna become the professional model. Okay, what do you think we have to do first? Makeup? Yep, those. both of those. Blue on blue. Let's go pick out what we think a and model blue on wear. blue doesn't look good. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you wearing it? You're trash in your own outfit. Because I like it. Okay. <laughs> So even though usually models wear a little bit more makeup, Beasley is still young, so Brooklyn's helping me and we're just doing a I very... don't have to wear makeup. Yeah. I'm gonna put it on. We're just doing a natural look. So she has a silk scarf on right now that's laying her edges, so we're just getting her all ready for the shoot. So I thought I would do um, some simple kind of things. Just did some research on which ones I thought were cool. Um, I have had an idea to do for a while where I project kind of something on a wall. I don't know if I'll do it on the sheet or on the wall, but one of those two, and she'll kind of pose in front of it. And I thought um, something with this paintbrush where she would be painting something, and then I'd probably go in after and like edit it onto there, like whatever I want her to be painting. One, two, three. <laughs> You're just gonna talk and laugh and tell stories for a second, and I'm just gonna shoot some pictures, okay? Take a couple of lunches. Throw your arms up in the air, ready? Smile and laugh. Don't turn away. Smile and laugh. Now throw your arms kind of at me a little bit. Less ballerina, more just kind of like, whatever, with me. Okay, I want you to stand in front of me, and I want you to just go like this. Okay? No, no, I stand. Stand in front of me there. I meant just like in the front of the camera. <laughs> so what? Well, like, here. Okay, ready? So I want you to go like. That's the sound I want you to make. Yeah, there you go. Now do it. Ready? Cute eyes. Okay, now give me a relaxed mouth. Now put your put your hand back up. Give me a relaxed mouth. She's a new model, so we're trying to get her to be loose. So that's why I told her to tell a story and to dance because you can get a lot of good candid pictures from them just doing that. But then the hoo hoo was really just to show her that she can like control her lips and that can really change the picture. Um, there was like a thing going around, I think it was one of the Jenners. It was showing that in all their pictures they actually slightly blow out a little bit and it changes your lips like so much. It just makes them so much fuller. Put your lips just normal. Like when you're just sitting there? Okay, now I want you to blow out just really slowly. A little bit faster. Maybe no, just whatever. So the fun thing with this, Paige, I'm telling you, if it feels weird, it's gonna look good, okay? You're so much better than me. That's what I want you to think. Say it out loud. No! <laughs> I'm so much better than you. Yeah, there you go. That's the sass I want you to give me right now. Okay, look at me. Give me that eye. 
And you know she can't say it. <laughs> she is full diva right now. I got big earrings. So cool. Don't smile. You can't smile. It's yours. You're better than me. You don't need to smile. You're so cool. You don't even need to smile. No look. Kind of just like, yeah, that's good right there. Look happy, you look mad. Okay, but now look, like, you know, I know my painting's better than yours. No, keep it on the other hand. So as a photographer, it's important to just stay patient. Um, sometimes your model doesn't really know what they're doing, or they're just like, not really sure how to do any of it, or they're just kind of distracted by a book. Just kind of knowing what to work with it, and sometimes, honestly, what they're just doing naturally can also, also make like a really good picture, so. You have to work with what you have. Let me smile, you look unhappy. Smile. Give me. Okay, you can hold it up a little bit higher. So we're gonna use this projector now. So we're gonna have to turn off the lights. Um, but it's just gonna project whatever I have on my computer screen. It's just fun to kind of change the lighting a little bit with the projector so you get a little bit more like shadow play and you can do some really fun stuff. Move around, do a different thing. Every time I click the button, you should move. Ready? Ready? Look at me. More Your hair is rainbow. Yep, look at me. All right, so right now I'm setting my behind the scenes camera. Um, this is just nice because I can shoot it for some socials and you guys like seeing behind the scenes of all these photo shoots. So this one shoots vertically and I just set it and then we can keep shooting. So we're ready to go. Okay, so Paige just got her hair wrapped. I think it's so pretty. Do you like it? Yeah. So we just wrapped her braids up in a headscarf my mom did. It. I actually just went downstairs and she was teaching herself how. So she did it. First try, I'm guessing, right? Looks good. Okay, ready? Smile a little bit. Smile. So if you're a little bit stiffer on camera, it just comes off as kind of stiff. I don't know, that's like pretty basic, but if you're just kind of like loose, you can pretty much just like loosen up, loosen up, and that'll help a lot. Just so they're just kind of moving around. And that's why you say just every click, change a little bit and it just helps them loosen up a little bit. Ready? So I want you to tilt your head so it's all to one side. And it, it won't stay on your head. And then uh, just do a funny face. It's you can hold it and you can like funny tongue face, okay? It's too big. <laughs> okay, we'll hold it there. It'll work. It's just giving me a really funny face. Hold on to the last minute funny face. Funny, stick your tongue out. Oh! Oh, they're sideways. <laughs> so let's move back on. There you go. Ready? Laugh out loud. <laughs> laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah, so we, when we are shooting pictures and we're trying to like laugh, it actually looks a lot more realistic if you force yourself to laugh out loud. And it sounds really dumb when you're doing it, but it comes across in pictures like you're having a really good time. I think, I think we got it, what do you think? Yeah, like Which photo shoot is your favorite one? I don't know. I think the book. Back to the book. Probably that was her favorite. She likes that book a lot. Okay, are you ready? You're excited to see the pictures? Yeah. Okay, I'm excited to see them too. All right, so in general, I think I got some really great shots. Um, it is very challenging trying to work with a younger kid. I haven't really done much of that. I usually work with older people or my sisters, um, but it was super fun. And honestly, I just kind of like learned that you kind of have to work with what they're bringing. And a lot of the shots, I think it turned out super, super good. So super fun in general. Um, just kind of go with it and just go with the flow and just kind of sometimes I come like a little bit too structured and working with Paisley just kind of was like, we're gonna do whatever. <laughs> it really worked out because pictures are super great. So super fun. And I just I want to thank Canon so much for partnering with me on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I'll see you next week.
Bye.